Tomorrow's a huge day for our hometown Thorns. They'll be in Washington, D.C., playing in the National Women's Soccer League Championship against the Kansas City Current. The match starts at 5 o'clock our time, and it's airing on that other station, CBS. In honor of the players, we thought this would be a good chance to head into the KGW vault for a look at their previous successes and how playing on the road for a title could actually be a pretty good thing. Staying with this year's team for a moment, following their win in the semifinal match at Providence Park last weekend, the Thorns became the first team in league history to qualify for four NWSL championship games. Now to the vault. The Thorns' first appearance in 2013, the inaugural year for the National Women's Soccer League, they took on the Western New York Flash on the road and sealed the deal in stoppage time. Morgan near side. Oh, she's got Sinclair on a run. Christine Sinclair trying to put it away. Sinclair scores! Christine Sinclair giving Portland a 2-0 advantage, and that just might seal the first National Women's Soccer League title. Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. The Thorns' next championship came in 2017 against the North Carolina Courage, the successors to the Western New York Flash. The game featured not or just one goal, and it went the way of the Thorns. On the road, once again, the Thorns took down the Courage. The crowd in a frenzy behind the goal, and there it is! The Portland Thorns win the NWSL championship! The following year, 2018, saw a championship rematch between the Thorns and the Courage, but this time, the game was held here in Portland at Providence Park. The Thorns were underdogs, having lost to North Carolina three times during the regular season. And in front of a sellout crowd here at home, the Thorns came up short, losing three to nothing. The North Carolina Courage, your 2018 NWSL champions. And now the Thorns have a chance to once again rise to the top of the NWSL in their championship match tomorrow. As we saw, playing for the title away from Providence Park has proven to be a pretty good thing for the team. So the fact that they're across the country in D.C. could really be a great omen. Another good omen is the fact that Portland boasts the league's most valuable player this year, 22-year-old Sophia Smith. She's the youngest player in league history to win that award and just the second Portland Thorns player named MVP. Smith scored a club record 14 goals this season to go along with three assists in 18 matches. The number one pick of the 2020 draft living up to expectations and then some. It still really hasn't hit me, um, but it's an honor because I know I was with great company who were up for that award and I think there's so many other players in this league that can also win MVP, but it just goes to show a lot about my teammates. Um, they push me to be better every single day and, and they allow me to be myself. Very nice. Tomorrow's championship game airs at 5 o'clock Pacific time over on CBS. Good luck, ladies. Go Thorns.